Audio is an important part of video production, and Premiere Pro has a full suite of audio production tools. I want to give you a sense of what those tools can do for you, plus talk about the importance of audio in this lesson. So go to Working Files, go down to Projects, and then open up 1701 Audio Editing. Before we dive into the audio production tools here in Premiere Pro, just consider the importance of audio. For example, of course, an interview. So the serve really starts with the top. I mean, clearly, you need the sound for that. You also need natural sound. Now, your viewers don't expect to hear natural sound. They're not going to be listening for natural sound. But if it isn't there, then that would cause them to have a double take. So you want to give them the natural sound. You want that natural sound to be present. Consider the natural sound for this next shot. Now this is stock footage from Digital Juice, and when you buy stock footage, frequently it has no audio. So I added audio to this, because I thought if we're going to edit with this, we really should have audio associated with it. And so I built that into the clips that I provided in the working files. This next shot is the same thing. It was silent when we got it from Digital Juice, and I added some sound to it. You know, nothing overdone, just to add a little bit of wind noise and some birds off in the distance. Now we have some time-lapse shots from Digital Juice as well. And I just thought, well, I'll leave the sound out of the time-lapse shots, but we can add audio. So I've got sound effects here. I've got wind and thunder, and I'm combining the two things here in these two tracks below the time-lapse shot. And you can see how we have keyframes down here to bring the wind up gradually, bring the thunder up gradually, and mix them together here on these two audio tracks. You can record narrations inside Premiere Pro like this. Four score and seven years ago, our fathers brought forth on this continent a new nation. And you can also work with music inside Premiere Pro. This is just a little excerpt from a song that I included in my Infinite Skills tutorial, Learning Adobe Audition CS6. This song was recorded at Northern Lights Recording, a production studio in Santa Rosa, California. The singer is Laura Lee Christensen. Well, I know how much you wanted me to stay, but it just couldn't be that way. So that's a stereo mix that I made from the multi-channel tracks that I got from that studio recording, but I also made a 5.1 mix. So you can work with not only stereo and mono, like this narration, but you can work with 5.1 inside Premiere Pro. Let me go down here a little bit. Open this up so I can see which one is 5.1. That is it right there. I'll create a new sequence with that, just dragging it down to the new sequence icon. And this is a 5.1 sequence. If you scroll down here, you see that the master output is 5.1. And if you open up this audio track a bit so you can see it all, you'll see it has six tracks there. And if I double click on the clip to view it up in the source monitor, you'll see there are six tracks there. And you can control the volume levels of all six tracks. Now, if you have a 5.1 system right now, you'll hear this just fine. But if you don't, it'll sound like Laura Lee's off in the distance someplace. Well, I know how much you want to stay. That's because she's in the center track. And most folks, when they have stereo setups, they don't have the center track actually going to their speakers or their headset. But if you watch over here, you can see all six tracks going in this VU meter, the volume unit meter. Another cool feature here. You hear the instrumentals pretty well because they're left and right, but Laura Lee's in the center, so you don't hear it because you don't hear the center channel, you don't hear the surround sound channels, and you don't hear the low frequency channel as well if you have a typical stereo setup. And 5.1 sound is a really big part of DVD production, so Premiere Pro gives you that option as well. So I think it's clear audio is a really important part of video production. Let me just show you some of the features here inside Premiere Pro. As you figured out already, probably, the audio tracks can handle stereo over here and mono. And you can also add 5.1 tracks to your sequence. So for instance, down here, there are 5.1 tracks. And if I put this 5.1 clip here on the 5.1 track, then it'll play out to stereo again. But still, that center channel will be weak here. You won't really be able to hear it. You can control audio levels right here in the sequence, right there by adding keyframes to this and controlling volume levels here. You can also control panning here and individual channel volume here. You can work with the audio mixer that controls track volume as opposed to clip volume. You can keyframe those volume changes, plus apply effects to entire tracks. You can also apply effects to clips. Let's look at the effects they have here under audio effects. So there are a whole bunch of audio effects that can affect the way your audio sounds. Let's say we can add some reverb to give it some presence. So I've got this Gettysburg address here. Go to effect controls. I've already got reverb on there. 
Let's listen to what that sounds like. Four and seven years ago, our fathers brought forth on this continent. There you go. So for most video producers, Premiere Pro can handle all of their audio production needs. In the rest of the lessons in this chapter and in several upcoming chapters, I'm going to discuss the details of the audio production tools in Premiere Pro. If at the conclusion of that, you think you want to work with more tools that go beyond what's available in Premiere Pro, then you might want to consider using Adobe Audition. And I've done a full course on Adobe Audition for Infinite Skills called Learning Adobe Audition CS6. In any event, in the lessons in this chapter and several other upcoming chapters, we're going to discuss audio editing in Premiere Pro.